Question 9.15 says, calculate the number of equivalents in each of the following. And I put the definition of an equivalent up at the top. So the definition of an equivalent is the amount of an ion equal to one mole of positive or negative charge. So it doesn't matter whether we're dealing with positive or negative charge in this case. So what do I mean by that? Well, let's take a look at some examples that deal with both positive and negative charges. So if I look at A, it says calculate the number of equivalents in each of the following. So in A, it's one mole of potassium. You can see that potassium has a charge of plus one. So it only has a charge of plus one. So I can put, okay, if I have one mole of potassium ions, I know that in one mole of potassium ions, since it has a charge of plus one, it must have one equivalent of potassium ions. So I can see that my moles of potassium will cancel out in my dimensional analysis and I'm left over with one equivalent of potassium ions. If I take a look at B, if I have two moles of hydroxide, well, in one mole of hydroxide, since the charge is minus one, only one, I'm gonna put, I have one equivalent of hydroxide because the charge is minus one. So again, my moles will cancel out like that and I'll have two equivalents of hydroxide. I'm just gonna skip ahead to D, which is a little more involved. So if I have three moles of carbonate, CO3 two minus, well, in one mole of carbonate, CO3 two minus, how many equivalents would I have? Well, the charge is minus two. So that must mean that I have two equivalents. So I'll put that in. I have two equivalents, again, because my charge is minus two. So I'll put my carbonate, CO3, two minus. So you can see that moles of carbonate are gonna cancel out. And now I have three times two, which will give me six, a total of six equivalents of carbonate. So again, just to recap, the definition of equivalent is the amount of that ion that's equal to one mole of positive or negative charge. So it doesn't matter whether it's positive or negative charge, and that's how we determine the number of equivalents for an ion.